Wall lizards, the adults generally have some green color to them and the scales on the back are really tiny, about the diameter of a sewing pin. Hi, I'm Gavin Hankey at the Royal BC Museum and here on Vancouver Island we have a serious lizard problem. The first wall lizards, only a few were released here in 1967 in uh, Saanich, just south of Brentwood Bay. And then uh, in 1970, another 12 or so were released in the same area. And the problem we have now just stemmed from those few lizards that were released. They were originally in a private zoo, and when the zoo closed down, uh, the lizards were just let loose, free willy basically, just off they go and left to their own devices. And uh, this environment is perfect for them, so they obviously prospered. A guess is between 500,000 and 700,000 on Vancouver Island, Denman Island. There's a new population, hopefully, well, hopefully not a population on Salt Spring and Pender Island. And we've also now got them on the mainland. If we said 500,000 lizards, each eating one or two insects a day, that's a huge impact on the biodiversity of insects, spiders, pollinators. We, we really haven't got a grip yet on their impact on our pollinators, and that's one thing I'm really worried about. Do you like strawberries? If you like tomatoes, if you like any fruit and vegetable, blueberries, raspberries, they're all pollinated. So if pollinators are, just, are, are wiped out from a lizard invasion, then that would have a serious cascade effect on our food production. Native species are being wiped out by just simple lizard predation by an animal that shouldn't have been here in the first place. So that's, that's the real crime, is that something that was so avoidable in, in the sense of not letting a lizard loose uh, is now having a serious impact. And, and we're all gonna have to live with the after effects.